Ibo Area TV, Onondi Ibo. Tensions between Nigeria and Finland have escalated following the arrest of pro Biafra agitator Simon Ekba, who was taken into custody in Finland under suspicion of being involved in terrorism and violent activities in southeastern Nigeria. The arrest follows sustained diplomatic pressure from the Nigerian government, highlighting the growing concerns surrounding EPA's action and the instability in the region. Let's break down the story. On Thursday, Simon Epa, a Nigerian Finnish citizen and leader of the autopilot faction of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, was arrested in Finland. According to Finnish authorities, Epa has been linked to violence and crimes in southeastern Nigeria, contributing to the ongoing instability in the region. Simon Epa, who leads a faction of IPOB, is accused of fueling violence in the southeastern part of Nigeria, particularly advocating for the secession of the Biafran region. Finnish police confirmed the arrest on Friday, stating that EPA's activities have resulted in significant harm to civilians with numerous violent incidents reportedly linked to his faction. The Nigerian Ministry of Foreign Affairs have been vocal about the role EPA's action play in destabilizing the country. A statement released by the ministry confirmed that the Nigerian government had pressured Finnish authorities to take action against EPA, citing his links to violence and terrorism in Southeast. Kimia B. Ebinfa, the spokesperson for the Nigerian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, disclosed that this diplomatic push have been part of high-level discussions between the two nations. According to a political analyst, the arrest of Simon Epa represents a significant shift in international effort to curb the activities of secessionist groups. The Nigerian government has made it clear that it will take a hard stance against those who from abroad incite violence and undermine national security. This move shows the extent of the growing international cooperation between Nigeria and other countries, such as Finland, in fighting terrorism. Eba had been associated with a series of violent attacks and killings in the southeast where separatist sentiments have been on the rise. As a leader of IPOB Autopilot, Eba has frequently claimed responsibility for violent actions carried out by his groups, including kidnappings and ambushes of Nigerian security forces. But while the Finnish authorities have confirmed his arrest, IPOB has denied any affiliation with it by issuing a statement on Friday claiming that he was never a member of the group. In a statement issued by IPOB spokesperson Emma Powerful, the group vehemently denied any association with EPA, stating that he was not a registered member of IPOB in Finland or anywhere else. According to IPOB, Simon EPA was never part of their official leadership and had no role within the movement. However, the claim contradicts EPA's own past statements, where he has referred to himself as a disciple of Namdi Kano, the leader of IPOB, and even assumed a prominent role within the organization. Before his arrest, Epa was a significant figure in IPOB, particularly after Namdi Kano's arrest in 2021. Epa was appointed as the head of Radio Biafra, a platform used by IPOB to broadcast their ideology. However, tensions arose between Epa and the leadership of IPOB, resulting in his eventual departure Eba formed his own faction, Autopilot, citing his frustration with IPOB's internal policies. In one of his posts, Eba claimed that the formation of IPOB Autopilot was sanctioned by Namde Kano himself, despite IPOB's disavowal of his actions. Eba also declared himself the Prime Minister of the Biafra government in exile, further distancing himself from the main IPOB organization. He even formed the Biafra Liberation Army. Epa's rhetoric has frequently included calls for armed resistance against the Nigerian state. The Nigerian government has welcomed Epa's arrest, describing it as a step towards neutralizing the influence of foreign-based actors who incite violence in the country. Nigerian diplomats, including Foreign Minister Geoffrey Onyem, have been in direct communication with Finnish officials 
urging them to take swift action against EPA. As of now, EPA is facing legal proceedings in Finland. The Nigerian Ministry of Foreign Affairs has vowed to continue monitoring the case closely, emphasizing its commitment to ensuring that those who engage in violent actions from abroad are held accountable. This arrest marks a critical development in the ongoing battle against separatist movements in Nigeria and highlights the growing international cooperation in addressing transnational security threats. As the legal process unfolds, it remains to be seen what the future holds for Simon Eba and his faction. We will continue to monitor the situation and provide updates as more details emerge. That's all for this segment. Stay tuned for more updates on this developing story. And always, thank you for watching. Please don't fail to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Bye for now.